Ah, we got another email. Let's get to it. What's going on guys? Chris, Hustling for Happiness. By the way, before I get into this email, just want to let you know I'm getting so many emails now. Like I'm getting a good amount of volume of emails every single day. I'm so, so grateful. I appreciate the support on the channel. I will respond to every single email individually and some emails that I feel are relevant for my audience that really hit big topics, I will do videos for, all right? Just wanted to throw that out there. So. Here we go, we got an email from Derek from Sacramento, California. I miss Cali, I love it. Uh, yo, Chris, what up, man? I love the videos and it makes me so motivated and hyped up. Thank you so much. Thank you for the support and thank you for writing in. Uh, my question is, I was just betrayed by a friend of mine. I thought they were my best friend and they lied and hurt me so, so much. I would normally talk to them about it, but I can't, obviously. I have such anger taking over me. I want to retaliate. I know I shouldn't, but my heart hurts and I'm just so angry. How do I cope? Derek, Sacramento, California. All right, um, Derek. Yeah, man, that's rough. I've been there. I've definitely been there. And um, I'm sorry that you're going through that. I get it, man. But, you know, I'm a big believer in feeling what you're feeling. You know, so, I mean, if, you are, if you're having a meltdown, if you're upset, if you're angry, feel it. Do it privately. Don't be an ass about it and take it out on the people in your life. Don't let it influence your behaviors towards them. Go to the gym, um, hit a punching bag, cry in a pillow, whatever it is that you need to do. Go for a drive and blast some like shine down or disturbed or something, some angry music. Um, but feel your feelings. And you know, when you feel your feelings, then they'll pass faster. But I want you to remember this quote. The Buddha says, holding on to anger is like grasping a hot coal with the intent of throwing it at someone else. You're the one who gets burned. So what does that mean in contemporary language? Yeah, you might throw that anger out of retaliation at them, but like that hot coal, it's going to bounce off of them. And then you're the one who's like burnt with a mark, right? The anger just only hurts you. There's a place for anger. I'll do that in another video, but you got to keep it in check and you got to keep it balanced. You know, so um, what I want you to do so that you can find some peace first Instead of putting so much focus on that one person or that one element that isn't working or that's hurting you, I want you to focus on all the other elements in your life that are working. All those people that do love you, all those people that do support you, all those people that you can call up in the middle of the night with a problem, whether it's parents, siblings, friends, mentors, teachers, you know, I mean, I'm so grateful for my parents, you know, they drive me crazy sometimes, but you know, they're parents. But like, I, I'm so grateful because if I needed anything, I could call them in the middle of the night and they give me that support. And I guarantee you, when you start thinking of those people that love you and support you and are in your life, you're gonna, oh yeah, it's, it's Sally. Oh yeah, it's this person and that person and that person and that person and all those people are gonna outnumber that one that screwed you over, right? So I want you to do that, man. And I want you to just really, really, as best as you can, when you're ready, Send them forgiveness. I know, it sounds weird, it's hard to do in the beginning, but forgive them, right? Because we're all human and nobody is perfect, no one. And people make mistakes. So whether it was intentional or unintentional, you know, send them forgiveness because if anything, if you're holding all of that negativity inside, that's gonna destroy you. That's gonna destroy you and then you're gonna walk around not trusting anyone for the rest of your life. Don't be like that, man. Send them forgiveness. I'm not saying you have to invite them back into your life. I'm not saying you got to be BFF forever again. No. Forgive them for yourself so that you can then embrace all of the positivity that life and the universe gives to us each day. Does that make sense? So breathe. Feel what you got to feel. Don't take it out on anyone else around you. If you got to cry, do it. If you got to take an hour-long bath, go ahead and do it. And then I want you to put all of the focus on those that you love and those that love you. All right, Derek? I hope that helps, man. Um, maybe one day I'll have a meetup, you know, with everybody and if I can grow this channel anymore. And yeah, continue to send me emails, continue to send me questions. I'm getting a lot now, but I will respond to every single one of them. Thank you so much for the support. As always, brought to you by my love, Celsius. And uh, yeah, let's keep growing. Let's keep living. Let's keep loving. And... Keep hustling for happiness, everybody. Peace.